What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex. I'm back here with another video, and let me let me just go ahead and stop playing these highlights right fast. You know, NFL would like to copyright me. Now, first and foremost, I just want to say one thing in particular. <clears throat> To the Dallas Cowboys, you're welcome. Any Cowboys fan that happens to accidentally click on this video for whatever reason you're here, uh, I'm gonna call my uncle right after I make this video and I'm gonna say, can, can I get a thank you? Can, can we get a thank you letter or something? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We looked out for y'all. Cause y'all did get y'all on Thanksgiving. But you know the Dolphins, we looked out for y'all. Now let's get to the video. We beat the Eagles. Now, honestly, I'm surprised I'm making this video because I did not think we was gonna win the game. I didn't think we was going to win the game, and the, the reason why I didn't, like, because first of all, like, you know, we're not supposed to win the game. The Eagles are fighting for their playoff life, you know what I'm saying? They won the Super Bowl a couple of years ago, uh, and I'm just thinking, like, we're not playing for nothing for real. We're just getting experience out here. We just, we're not making the playoffs, whatever, and all of a sudden, like, we competing with these fellas, and... I go lie, the whole game I thought we was gonna lose, cause like you know, like against the the Cowboys, we competed in the first half, and then we got blown, blown out in the second half. So the whole game, I never thought we was gonna win the game until the end. When I was like, yo, we really finna win. Like in the fourth quarter, like midway through, I'm saying like, yo, hold up, we up by six. They don't look too good on offense. Like, bro, we might win this game. Like I didn't believe we was gonna win the game until then, and we won. Now I don't know how y'all feel about winning. Obviously, you know. It's not the, you know, winning isn't what it used to be where we all win and we're all happy. It's like we won and it's like, uh, now what? Because the Redskins did win as well. The Giants lost. So now our pick, I believe, is the fourth. Maybe it's the third still. I'm, I'm not sure. So, you know, you all got the pick in the back of your mind. But I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But first, I'm going to talk about the game. Um, Devontae Parker is a man amongst boys. And that's the only reason I was watching the game for real. Like, I was just watching Devontae Parker go to work. I wasn't even really caring that we were losing. I was just looking at Devontae Parker the whole time like, oh my God, this guy's a beast. I didn't think we was going to win, but I was like, yo, Devontae Parker looks amazing. And uh, Devontae Parker really just carried us, you know what I'm saying? Fitz, Fitz would get into situations where, you know, it's fourth and whatever, or it's third and whatever, throw it up to Devontae. He don't, he don't even care. And I like that about Fitz. He don't even care. Like, that's what I like about him versus Rosen. I feel like Rosen would not have thrown them throws because he's playing for his NFL career. Whereas Fitz, he gonna throw them because he don't care. You know what I'm saying? He's not fighting for nothing. You know what I'm saying? He, he, his career about over with. Is uh, He know what he with his. Everybody know what he is. Put it that way. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad he threw that. And I just, I realized our next quarterback, whoever is going to be this offseason, whoever we get, whoever we get the opportunity to get, our next quarterback needs to be similar to Fitz in, in his style. So whatever college quarterback that y'all feel like is that way, I think we need to draft him, okay? I don't I don't really be studying college quarterbacks like that because I don't know what pick we're going to get and whatnot, who we're going to be available. I ain't trying to waste all my time hyping up somebody that's going to be gone before I pick. But... Um, whatever our next quarterback is, he needs to be similar to Fitz in terms of giving his receivers chances to catch the ball. Now, I'm not going to say no names of the quarterbacks we had in the past that didn't do that shit because uh, y'all get sensitive. But there are certain quarterbacks that we have who just wasn't built like that. They, they on thir It's third and 10, they throwing it a, a two-yard hitch. It's third and 10, they throwing a little slant route, a four-yard short, I mean, uh, Seven yards short of the first down. They know who they are. You know what I'm saying? It's chance they got a receiver one on one. They overthrow it on purpose just so it's a it's not a it's not an interception. They just throw the ball away. You know what I'm saying? We had quarterbacks like that in the past. I like Fitz because he gives his his players a chance to make a play on the ball. We got Preston Williams, a beast and jump ball. We got Devontae Parker, a beast and jump ball. And we got Mike Gasecki, a beast and jump. We got too many weapons for us not to be throwing these jump balls a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um Devontae Parker, I was never ready to call him a bust. I always said, like, videos where everybody used to call him a bust. Him and Charles Harris, I was like, I'm not really ready to call them a bust, even though they kind of are busts. And Devontae Parker just put me wrong. Charles Harris is still a bust, even though he did make a play today. He did, like, get a sack, or he he almost got a sack, and I think once threw it away at the last second. But he, he definitely made a play today. But um, I wasn't ready to call him a bust. They, honestly, bro, our coaches, just seeing how players are developing, how quickly they're developing, our coaches in the past had to be terrible. I mean, obviously Adam Gates was terrible, but even the ones before then, Joe Philbin's terrible. Uh, Tony Sperano wasn't too bad. We made the playoffs, but we had some terrible coaches in the past because these coaches we got now, I have faith that faith they, they know what they're doing. And that's why I'm not concerned with us winning the games. And if you're team tank, you shouldn't be concerned with us winning the games either because 
with how good our coaches have been, they're not making many mistakes. Like if y'all like look at the moves they've made and all that stuff, all of them seem good. They haven't made many mistakes besides the Minka trade. We could talk about that, but that I mean that's just unpredictable. Who could have predicted that with the Steelers with their second string quarterback? Who was it? Landry Jones or whoever it was that they was going to still be winning games. That was an amazing trade if it would have worked out. I'm not even angry with that because if it would have worked out, like it was supposed to work out, and the Steelers would have been taking L's with a backup quarterback like every other team does, then we would have a high pick. Now we it's going to be a late pick because the Steelers are winning, even though, you know what I'm saying, we still could draft a good player with that pick. So, to be honest with you, um, that's the only questionable move. But other than that, I think all the moves, like, like that's why I'm not, I don't really question why the Dolphins won or what, what are the Dolphins doing. Like, I think they know why they won. Like, if, if, they, if I think at some point you have to stop saying you trust the process and actually trust the process, even if the process is not what you thought the process was. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't see how you can be angry with this win. I'm not going to be angry with a win. I think they know what they're doing, to be honest. So, I, I don't, I'm going to just go let it ride. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they don't know what they're doing. Maybe you know more than what they know, but I think they know what they're doing. So I'm gonna let it ride. Um So getting into the specifics of the game, uh first quarter, they score, we score. I mean, it was like a it was a, a shootout for real. And um honestly, I didn't see I before the game started, I didn't do a preview, but I just if I would have did a preview, it would would have went like this. I don't know how we're going to stop Wentz. He's mad because he played like t like crap last game. So he's going to try to go crazy on us and unleash his pain on us. Okay. Uh, I don't know how we're going to stop him or Alshon because Alshon's like a whole foot taller than any of us, the whole, any, our whole secondary. You know what I'm saying? But we were able to stop him. Um, well, we weren't able to stop him at all, but we was able to stop him enough. Okay. Uh, oh, we really won because of our offense. Now, I don't know what the Eagles were trying to pull at the beginning of the whole of the game when they putting Jay Ajayi in the game. I don't know if y'all trying to prove a point there, but then come on, we're not going out like that. They were putting Jay Ajayi in the game. Don't say, oh, Miles Sanders was uh, was was tired. Now, y'all tried to get him a touchdown so y'all can really try to rub something in our face. I know EDP going to be mad. I, I don't know if y'all watch him. I'm definitely going to tune in because I know he's going to be mad. I don't even watch him that much, but I'm, I'm going to tune in this one. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, it was just a shootout uh, that, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick won against Carson Wentz. You know, he said he threw a, he, I forgot the he did throw a pick on the first play of the game, Fitzpatrick did, and I already knew what type of game it was. I said, oh, it's going to be one of these games. And it, it, didn't, it, it didn't turn out to be one of those games because he actually, you know, bounced back. Kalen Balaj, Balaj ended up getting injured. I hope he's okay, but he's just terrible running back. I'm sorry. He's, he's awful. He's the worst. I've never seen him run past the line of scrimmage. Uh, Patrick Laird, I, I still don't know how to say his last name. I should learn because he looked like he might be a future part of the team. He couldn't run either, but the, the difference is he has more short hands. He's more shifty, so when he catches the ball, he's more of a threat than Kalen Balaj. So, he he's more beneficial to our game. Even though he can't run, we need to run it back badly. He's more beneficial. He he did get a touchdown, and he's more beneficial as far as uh, you know, say catching catching the ball, getting out. So if you did miss this game, man, you just missed a Devontae Parker just really just destroying an entire secondary. It was it was a beautiful sight. But uh, that that's all it was. That's all that's all that's all we really talk about on defense. Uh, we didn't play no defense. Our line wasn't blocking that good either, but <laughs> Devontae Parker was just, we was just chucking up Devontae Parker. Um, defense, we don't play no defense. I'm just let you know that. We didn't play no defense. Uh, we played it when it mattered, but, you know, for the most part, they was getting whatever they wanted. Uh, Wentz wide receivers was dropping on them again. Uh, even Ertz dropped a touchdown that would have probably, would have, would have, I mean, they, they would have still lost because they weren't going to get the onside kick, but Ertz dropped a touchdown. Ertz dropped like two passes. And that's Zach Ertz. That's like, yo, they, they be failing Wentz sometimes. But uh, Wentz, you know what I'm saying, he, he did his thing, 300 pass yards. But at the end of the day, Miami Dolphins just won in a game that I really don't know how we won. You know what I'm saying? We just outplayed them. But at the same time, it was like I didn't think the whole time I'm just waiting for the collapse. I'm waiting for the inevitable collapse, and it never came. So, surprisingly, we did win. If you say you caught this, I would, I would doubt it. I, I didn't believe it because I just thought Wins was going to come in here angry and, and they were trying to prove a point passing the ball and I, I, our whole secondary. They try to hold their own, but you, they're, not, they're, not, they're not that great. Um, overall, this is, means we have three wins. The Bengals won as well, so they have, now have one win. Um, 
and the 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 the, the, the what's which one cards? What, what are the, the Redskins one? And that's big. If you are still one, if you're still worried about the draft position, the Redskins did win, so they have the same amount of wins as us still. So we could still draft before them, you know, if things go a certain way. So that's actually huge. And then in the sense of the Giants lost, so we might we 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 they're gonna they're gonna probably pick before us, you know, right now. But we end up playing the Giants, so if we lose that game. You know, and anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? That's why you just gotta wait. You see how the season plays out before. Like I don't even stress about draft pick position like that. Um, other than that, let's see if I'm forgetting anything. Uh, Eagles. I mean, I, I I gotta I gotta be respectful relationship with Eagles fans. I don't wanna I don't wanna talk too much trash to Eagles fans. I remember Eagles fans. They're mostly cool. You know what I'm saying? They were cool when 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 we when when we traded them JJ for nothing you know the Eagles fans always show love to my channel so I ain't gonna say that bad about the Eagles it sucks for y'all but you know things happen you know you know what I'm saying uh shout out to everybody who liked this video before they even heard this sentence like comment subscribe this is gonna be the end of the video it's your boy K Flexing I'm out